What's up guys? Today we are headed to Fort Lauderdale. I uh, decided to take this little trip for the weekend, uh, go visit some family. My cousin has a shop down there, so I'm gonna go uh, film some stuff over there and take the car for a cruise. Um, I decided to take my little coupe just to take her on a good little cruise. AC works good, so she's a good little daily. So this is my cousin Sam. You you guys already met him like on the booster board. Yeah, as you can see up there. <laughs> show us around a little bit, man. <clears throat> Let me show you around what I've been doing to the shop and cleaning up lately. Yeah, it looks different. It looks a lot more like I, I I think you had a lot more cars last time. I did. I emptied everything out because I redid the floors, try to repaint the floors, stain the floors, you know, paint the walls a little yeah, bit. Yeah, looks nice, a little man. Bit in here. Cleared out the back so we can put our projects back there. Damn, you got a lift too. I guess you need to do your swaps. A couple swaps, projects, yeah. Horsepower swaps, you know yeah, I might, I, might, I might bring something over here to work on. So this is like the little back area. The little back area, we keep stuff in the boneyard and whenever I got big projects, I work on them back here. Got some inventory over here, you know, I sell cars. So we got the Mini Cooper, I got Mercedes. I got a couple of cars out front for sale. Yeah, so if you guys need a car in the area, he sells cars. Like, these are just like your quick flips. But you can get whatever they want, right? We got everything around here. But whatever car you're looking for, he can... looking for A through Z. It doesn't matter. Exotic, Japan, domestic, it doesn't matter what it is. This is Kodak's car, I don't know if you remember. Oh yeah, this is, uh, we showed it last time we were here with Honduru, but... I painted this about three years ago. Keep it under the cover. Yeah, she's a little dusty. But Damn, what size wheels are those, though? 30 inch wheels, custom center caps. Man, we gotta dust her off, man. Maybe take it for a spin. Should we wipe her down, take her for a spin? Yeah. Maybe, maybe have you do something to the engine or something. What do you think? Yeah, I could. Uh, I'll go and go through it. At least check the fluids and stuff since it's been sitting. And then, I don't know. I mean, I could add some nitrous to it. Never know. I gotta get you to do something of mine, man. I already got, so our uncle Pedro is the one that painted this car and then and then my brother painted the Subaru that color. So, you so now, now I haven't even, brother, yeah, have I haven't had you, something. dog. So I gotta, gotta get you, you got plenty of cars. I got a couple cars down here that we can do something with. Definitely, sounds good. We just got into town, so I think we're gonna go try and find some food. We might go uh, cook at my cousin's spot. But um, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys this shop. So if you guys need him for anything, you know, we got to put the family on. The grill master. The grill master. We already got some grapes. That's just a appetizer. Got the good ones. Yeah, that's how we're doing it, lobster tails? Yep. All right. Damn, Sam. I didn't know you, you did I didn't know you did it like that, bro. So we're doing Los Angeles. Oh, you got your Venador covered up. You got the AMG back there, too? Yeah. I got the, the family, the, the wifey guy. The wifey's out right now. I'm getting some more groceries. My side chick got the T right there. Oh, OK. <laughs> <laughs> And a view though. Here's what you get to wake up to, Sam? Yeah. Hey. Nah, it's not too bad, bro. I see you moving on up. Yeah, go back here. So one thing about our family is we like to get more food than what we're gonna eat. Just in case. This guy got, you had to get six lobster tails, bro. Look them all. Who swallow these? <laughs> so we got some lobster tails, some mushrooms, filet some, some filet mignon. He's uh, working on some appetizers. We got some fruits to eat. I'm going to start prepping everything up. Show them how it's done. Show you how it's done. I know you all like the food vlogs, too. I know it makes you hungry. You might have to go out and get you a steak, or some of y'all might have to go out and get you a junior bacon cheeseburger. <laughs> 
put it down the middle. Yep. Get this fuzz open. Like it. Get that meat pulled forward just like that. Ready for some seasoning? Ready for seasoning. Can't go wrong with the old bay. <laughs> we showing the love. Got it all prepped up. Appetizer. This view is awesome. <laughs> and just like that, look at that plate. Ooh. About to dig in. Thanks, Sam. Welcome anytime. You already know. This is how he eats. He, says, do. he eats like this every day. Daily. And he keeps his figure too. <laughs> <laughs> Giving me the tour now. I don't want to. Move down here, bro. <laughs> here spot, man. This is the spot, bro. What do you do with these? Sit on it. We'll show you guys sit on the other one, bro. No, you gotta show you. What the fuck? Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> why, why do you want to do this for? <laughs> People just come out here and do this? <laughs> Is this a workout, bro? I'm about to throw up all the food I just ate. <laughs> Whoa. All right, I'm done. It's like some turf. I'm about to put on some cleats. What more do you need, Sam? You got it. You don't even have to leave your spot. No, I'm going nowhere. This is the spot. This is the spot, man. Here, this man. is the... You got the hammocks. You got the pool. Look at all the views. Go this way. You don't need to go anywhere, bro. You can take a nap right here. I do. Chill right here. Take a nap right there. It's nice. What's this place called? Society Building in Los Olas. This is the Society Building. Is that a restaurant too? It's a restaurant. It's just a bar, pool hall. Nice. Big pool too. I feel like I'm at like a some resort or something. <laughs> Look at this. Another hangout area. What y'all think, man? <laughs> Is that you just be chilling? Dang. Is where you uh, make future plans and shit. Gather my thoughts. Gather your thoughts. <laughs> I hear you, man. I'd gather my thoughts here, too. <laughs> Which yacht is yours, Sam? The biggest one. The biggest one? Oh, it's right here. Damn, they even got a projector here for movie night. I'm about to get sponsored by this condo. <laughs> Everybody's going to want to buy a spot over here. I even got a gym, too. Full gym. This is like a real, real deal gym, man. That's how he keeps his figure after all that food he be eating. <laughs> He's right here. Damn, Ricky. We gotta make our street legal. They even got a tag on it. I know what you're thinking. What are you doing in the gym, Emilio? Well, you know what? It's 2021, man. Stuff's gotta change. I'm living the uh, pump of the life right now. Sam's putting me to work. <sighs> Sometimes you just gotta believe in yourself. Don't give up. Oh. <laughs> What's up guys? So today we're just gonna be touring around. I'm just going with the flow and uh, bringing a camera. So not sure what we're getting into, but we're just gonna keep it flowing.
just such about an expensive car. Like, if you challenge yourself to race, you know, a, a ordinary car. domestic or you know, a Japanese car, and you lose driving a two, you driving a two hundred fifty thousand dollar car, you lose against what ten twenty thousand dollar car. That's super embarrassing. It is. So that's why <laughs> happens all the time, man. Challenge. Sometimes you can't even take the challenge. That's why you can't just say, "Oh, that Honda is a beater." You never know what's in it. Yeah. <laughs> Good food places around here. We go to Spazio's right around the corner, right here. That's where we're going. We're over here at Spazio's. So I got that, that shrimp wrap. He's got the tuna wrap. We all got wraps today. I gotta say, I tried the shrimp wrap and the tuna wrap. The tuna wrap is where it's at. cousin built that with his bare hands. This is the first residential home built in Fort Lauderdale. Look at that. It's so random because you see like big buildings, big buildings, and you still see this. This is the Las Olas Boulevard Street. It's a bunch of restaurants, a bunch of places you can get closed. There's places where people run over curves, scratch their wheels up. If you ever wonder how they do it, that's how they do it. <laughs> so that was American Social. For six o'clock, man, that place was bumping. They don't play around here. It's six o'clock. Everybody's party. It's Sunday. <laughs> Can I check out some other places? That's pretty sick, honestly. I bet you this stuff is expensive. It's at least ten grand right there. More? That's cheap. <laughs> They'll kick me out if I said 10 grand. <laughs> Listen, if you ever come to my house and you see something like that when you walk in the door, you know we made it. <laughs> Sixty-five thousand. You trying to look like the gladiator or what? <laughs> He's making sure you ain't taking the gladiator. Sixty-five thousand. Come on, look at this dog. Got the champagne glasses in there. Taco. I figured I wanted to check this uh, taco spot out because my cousin lives like literally across the street and uh, he said it was good tacos so let's uh, do a little review on them. Good. The best? Good. The best taco. I told him I wanted everything and they literally gave me everything. These look really good. So these don't have lettuce or cheese. They have uh, cilantro, tomatoes, onions. I've never had them with these little potato chips. I usually have these like on a Colombian hot dog or uh, some Colombian sandwiches. And I never had it on a taco, but 
these are really, really good, man. I don't even know if I can give it a top ten, man. I think it's gonna, it's gonna go to a top five, bro. They're good. They're really good. <laughs> they honestly surprised me, man. much when he when I caught it across the street he jumped from there to there and then flipped there Ooh. I hope you guys enjoyed this video um, like I said I wasn't too sure what I was gonna get into just coming down here didn't really have any plans just wanted to come visit my cousin hadn't seen him in a while because as you guys know, like I live in Colorado. I've been down here for the last couple months and I've just been spending more time with family. I'm really close to my family and I got a, a big family. I mean, my mom has like nine sisters and you met my one uncle, he's the only boy, Pedro. But, um, so you could only imagine how many cousins I got. But it was nice catching up with him. Uh, he's doing good. I mean, he's not rich, but he's, you know, doing good in his business. He's a hustler like all of us. And it's just nice seeing family come up, so. It was good hanging out with them. I got to see the riverfront uh, from a different view because I, like, I've been down here, but I've never like stayed down here. Like he lives on the 21st floor. Um, you guys saw the whole little walk around of his building, but there's a lot of stuff to do, man. Definitely, we had good talks. Uh, he's gonna be a part of a couple future projects because we plan on painting some of the cars and he's gonna help me with that. And I think I inspired him to like start a YouTube channel at least. Uh, maybe do some car stuff for him. Um, he's always wanted to do it, but he never knew where to start. And I kind of like, I told him I'm, I'm on his corner. You know, that's family. I'll whatever I can help with. Usually, like when you see me hanging around anybody in Florida, I've known them since either high school or their family. Like I've, all the people I hang around with are really, really close to me. And I just want to see everybody do good. Um, I have the opportunity to come down here and do some more work, hang out with them and kind of show you what they do. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time.